You're watching live coverage of the KFDM Fox 4 Toy Feast. Sponsored by Doggett Toyota, Total Energies, Optima Steel, International Paper, Rails Bakery, BASF Total Energies, Petrochemical, and Five Point Credit Union. They start singing that together I again. I think so, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is, right here, the OG of the morning show. I don't know, yeah, I don't know if I like Nah, that. she didn't like it. I'm with you. you see, how about the original? original. There, there the original. Because I don't think game. we were ever gangsters. But, no, uh, no, no. yeah, the original three from the morning show back in 19... I've had a hard time really pinpointing. 95 or 96? I want to say it was 95. 95. Okay. Uh, that we started the morning show with three people. Now, Dan and James did Straight a Straight out of kindergarten. Thing. Yeah, oh no, yeah. She was, we, we took her from high school. She was still in high school when Jackie started. How many years? Five? Right. Five, and then Kelly for five. And then yes. after that, a rapid succession Just of people succession who couldn't sit with ladies. me, much less with James. <laughs> but Jackie, you know, she managed five years. Uh, it's it's great to see you guys. It's great to be here. Congratulations to you uh, on your illustrious career. Thank you. We hope you retire right. Because a lot of people retire and they become more busy than uh, they were working. Oh, so. you know that's going to be him. So we hope you retire the right I'm way. A, I'm afraid I might be guilty of more busy. <laughs> I'm not very good at sitting still. No. Well, well just live it the way you want to there live it. There you go. It. That, live there it you go. Live it the way the, you want to live it. Without an alarm clock. That's there you the way go. I want there you go. Oh, I want to do things. I keep telling people. I'm retiring from television news. I'm yeah. not retiring. Right. I'm, I'm not going to die. I'm just. People you, always ask me about my retirement. Oh, I can only imagine. No, I, but just Jackie's busier now than she's ever been because yes. she's with BISD in a very important position. So you'll see her around town. And James, he I'm, is enjoying it. Extremely, time. extremely busy doing something close to nothing. Do you make it? Ever? That's the goal. I'm, I'm, I'm making it. Uh, Pretty often. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Well, it's good to see you guys. Really, great truly. Being here. What, great what being a great here. retirement. Happy yeah. retirement, Dan. Yes. Appreciate it. All right. Let us do what needs to be done this morning. As much as I like reminiscing, it's also time to talk about yeah. business and the business at hand this morning. This is that was the oldest. This is the newest. Right <laughs> In the here. last, the, right? The yeah. Maybe the last. No, it's the. <laughs> I asked him this morning, is it too quick to unretire? I mean, you can probably work something out. No, sure. I'm okay. We can talk I'm good. Later. I'm good. Pennison told me he'd come seek me out if I did that. So okay. now, yeah, I'll, no. I'll take retirement for a <laughs> while. Uh, but we're here this morning yeah. for a cause. And that cause, of course, Toy Feast. And Toy Feast about raising money. And all right, let's uh, this is come one on, Macy. Best parts of Toy uh, Feast. Let's go right? this one way. Of the fun ones. Uh, these guys, Mike and his group, I think, I don't know, Mike, how far back do we go with you guys coming over for Toy Feast? 14 years, I 14 think. 14 years, yeah. I think that's probably right. They kind of all run together for oh, me now, yes. as you can imagine. <laughs> but Mike and uh, the, the toy Corvette group here in Southeast Texas, and of course, they all have to come in their cars. Oh, yeah. That's right. right. Yeah, Tri-City Corvette Club, we're pretty strong in this area. We do a lot of charity work, and this is one of our favorites well we love you it. guys are one of our favorites i can't tell you how much i appreciate your coming all the members and it's people that do it on that regular basis that are so impactful yeah. so thanks yes and 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 we like every year we challenge the other clubs to come out there you go you know step there up. it is that's step what up. we're saying step up be part of the winning effort here that's toy feast mike it's been a pleasure you too thank and you congratulations thank you very much uh, maybe i can tinker with corvettes now yeah, that i have time somebody okay i'll have to get my own i know that's the way that works uh but i love these guys that come out every cars, year yeah. thanks guys Did I get ugly mug? oh absolutely i that. can there get you, you uh several here. wait hold on to your money uh can i get some assistance here brad pennison can you come help me i have people who would like some mugs Look, here we, oh you know what? Let me get a hold of hold, hold on. on we want to say thank you for your service over the years. We really appreciate what oh, you've done for us in the I'd community. Like You're very kind. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. It's yeah. been my pleasure. Let's more. see. Wait. I need mugs here. A mug here. A thank mug you. there. A mug there. That's what I'm talking about right there. Who else is wants people a mug? stepping up. There we you go. Get a mug you get, you get, get a, a mug. You get a mug. Man, I love being like Thank Oprah. Who wants one? That means a lot. Oh, you can have a hug. I give out hugs. Absolutely. There are lots of hugs today. Uh, here's here's that. There's another one. Everybody got one that gave money. I don't want anybody leaving that 
that Good needed one. Yeah, thank you, guys. I appreciate it, you. as always. We, you we thank, you. thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, look at all these mugs. Huh? How great is that? Oh, it's a victory lap. So they're lap. getting mugs. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. We well, do say uh, cash I'm going to try. Right? I'm not yeah. too good at retiring, but I think I'm going to try. I'll get you one of those somebody special edition Toy your... Feast ugly mugs. Yeah. Yeah, somebody said enjoy your last day. I said, this isn't a last day. This is a victory lap. Okay, I like you know, that. You need to borrow one of the cars with then. With the cars behind me. Victory yeah, yeah. Okay. Mike, thank you. All right. Appreciate thank it. You. Good to see you again. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Yeah. Fire them on up. Check that all out. I know. Just filled up that box. Did everybody get a mug that donated? You're welcome. I think Appreciate so. It. I think everybody I think got so. what they needed, right? Thank yeah. you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it. You Check bet. Out. Oh, I'm I'll enjoy the thing. Cars. Thank you. You bet. Absolutely. All right. Uh, we're going to take another break. We'll come back. We still have some time this morning. Okay. We're going to check in with there Angel San Juan down in uh, Mid County. Uh, Mid County, a yeah, five point credit union. Yeah, he's been there all morning, too. I'm sure seeing plenty of folks as well. And we'll check in with him in just a little bit as Toy Face 2023 continues. We need to go get a ride. What oh, are we doing? I, I, I tried victory for lap. 22 years. I've never had one. <laughs> Welcome back to live coverage of the KFDM Fox 4 Toy Feast, benefiting these agencies of the United Way. Well, good morning. Welcome back to Toy Feast 2023. We are so glad to see so many people here this morning as we are working to raise as much money as we can, get as many new toys as we can, non-perishable food items to help people in Southeast Texas. One of the best days of the year for us here on The Morning Show because we have so much fun and it's also just great to know that the community is stepping up to give back to the community because that's what it's all about, the season of giving, right? We've been saying give where you live. This is the perfect opportunity to do it. And take a look around. Look at all these people that have been here this morning. Stopping by, dropping off toys here in the boxes. You see the <laughs> kettle there. And uh, just stopping by yeah. to say hello. I and many of them already. donating so $100. Because we've been saying if you donate $100, you get one of these special edition Toy Feast Ugly mugs. Let me show it to you because this is a good one. As we've been talking about, today is Dan's last day on the air. So, of course, we had to do a special Toy Feast Ugly mug for him. Put his face on it. And just to thank him for 37 years. He was one of the ones who helped start Toy Feast and has made such a big impact over the years. We're talking over a million dollars that has been raised over the past couple decades. So it's been incredible, and uh, it's all part of to give back, right? Did You've you hear me talking hello? out there? I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't My know. microphone is on. What I think you got here? A, a viewer came by, and she said, I have something for Dan. And I was like, they okay. said, come see. And she said, I'm telling you, this will I'm be nervous. the difference in retirement. And she gave me a pill box <laughs> and said, now you'll be organized there you go. and you'll be ready for your day. That's a good one. She said, you'll, yeah, that'll be it. So that was a good one. That was great. <laughs> but it's been fun. Look at all the people that are lined oh, yeah, up. Check that this are coming out. Back. Donating a bunch of bikes yeah, right yeah. here. Yeah, how bikes great is that? coming in. We've had a lot of people dropping off donations. Kind of yeah. a party going on in the background. Former employees on the morning show. Yeah. Uh, I see Mitchell, an old director, is back there. Look at all the oh. toys in there. Yeah, there are quite a few toys there. And, and hey, stop by if you want to, because we're at Dog and Toyota yeah. in Beaumont. So come through, drop off whatever you'd like, say hello, take out, uh, come pick up an ugly mug. Also another location, though, you got Angel San Juan over at Five Point Credit yep. Union in yep. Mid-County. How's it going, Angel? It's going great, guys. Let me just show you here. We have some cars, just their steady stream of cars who are just coming over here. The popular item, of course, is the ugly mug, which it has Dan's face on it. It's a special ugly mug, and we're so excited. Five Point Credit Union in Nederland, the administrative offices, which are off of Highway 69, just across the highway from the airport. But the good thing about Five Point Credit Union, if you go to any of them in Southeast Texas, you can drop off donations like toys, uh, money, uh, uh, non-perishable food items. You can drop them off there and they will take them there. And that's, of course, you're closer to home and it stays in your community. Check that out. We're having to bring out more ugly mugs because they are going so fast. But one lucky person who has his is Mr. Jeff Ross from Port Arthur. He was nice enough to stop. Mr. Ross, what made you come out here today to get an ugly mug? I just 
with, with Dan's last year. I wanted to be able to be sure to get the last ugly mug that he had on it and has his good face on it. And I just really appreciate everything he's done for us over the years and just had to had to do it. Had and you told me that you believe this can be a collector's item. Oh, yes, it will be. I'm sure with his face and everything on it, it looks like a very good mug. I think it'll be nice. It really very is. Good. He's truly a legend. And, of course, today this is all about uh, we do it every year to raise money to help Southeast Texans in need. But it's kind of special yeah. because Dan has meant he got all this started many years ago. That's right. Yes, it is very good that he's done that and and how how much this has ma meant to everybody uh through the years this, this toy feast is just for all the local people it's, it, it's just a wonderful thing to put on and we appreciate you stopping by because you actually live in port arthur but work at the courthouse downtown yeah, and there. and so you deal with a lot of the public and this is a time i know in our area and across the nation there's a lot of need there is yes there's people all the time or you know always come to work come, come to the courthouse to uh you know do, pay their taxes and uh court and everything they just everything they do is is just is for the community and that's what you're doing here it's, it's wonderful to see well thank you yeah. mr ross for stopping and i hope you enjoy that collector's item yeah. mug it's going to be successful thank, thank you, you thank and you. again it just it's constantly going here at five point credit unions we're accepting donations anywhere please come say hi to me here at the nederland uh you know five point credit union so it's a lot of fun we're still doing it and dan a lot of people love you macy and dan you are doing a great job this is a special day for all of us specifically for dan back to you oh thank you that's very kind and listen i'm flattered honestly you know it's it it's so much more than a job it's the trust of the community that you, you work to earn. And if you're lucky enough, it happens, and it doesn't happen for everybody. So I've been very fortunate, you know, uh, to be in that position. Uh, Jeff Dyson with us now from Optimus Steel. They're one of our sponsors of Toy Feast. It's good to have you with us. Yes, good sir. to have good you to aboard. And good to be here. You guys didn't come empty-handed. Right, right. A couple of truckloads from the employees at the mill, and we're happy to help. Very happy to help. Is that how it worked? It was just kind of like, hey, guys, anybody yeah. want to contribute? We're going to do this? Exactly, exactly. Word went out to the plant, say, hey guys, we had the toy feast. You know, we want to contribute, and, and they did. They yeah. did. It's pretty easy to, yeah, and I always much. tell people if you really explain it and they understand that it's helping people in their right. community, yeah, no doubt. What's no the doubt. problem? Right, right, right. So, well, Jeff. Thank you. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Happy retirement. Oh, thank you very yes, much. Okay. I appreciate it. Yes, Jeff Dyson again with Optimus Steel, one of our sponsors. And look at this, filling up the box with toys. Some of his employees there in the background, Stephen, if you want a couple of trucks here, some other folks over there. So again, thank you guys for taking the time. They've been a terrific. We've had a lot of great sponsors through the years. And some of us have been, uh, some of them have been with us from the beginning. Uh, we're still trying to figure out 29 or 30 years that we've been doing this, but it's been decades. And over that time, we feel like we've reached out to a lot of different people. But here's the thing. This is my last broadcast, my last day uh, after 37 years. Help me go out the way I want to go out, which is giving back. That's my only interest. You know, that's why we decided this would be my last day, because I want to end it in a way that is not about taking it's about giving. Help me do that. You can do the same thing. You can text. All you have to do, Toy Feast, one word, T-O-Y-F-E-A-S-T. -E if you've watched and said, I want to say thanks, it'd be a great way to do it. And we'll put a mug in your hand if you give a $100 donation. We'll take a break. We'll come back with more. Toy Feast 2023 continues on Fox 4. Not from Macy, just in line. Oh, okay. Uh, no, not from Macy. I'm trying to suck in. We're up. We're up. We're on the air. Oh, good. Wait, on the air? <laughs> we are on the air. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a Friday edition of the morning show here on Fox 4. And by now, you're well aware that's not just any Friday. 
This is Toy Feast Friday, oh, which yeah. has become part of the, I hope, the culture here in Southeast Texas that the first third Friday of every December, we take the entire four and a half hours of the morning show and we dedicate it really towards one mission, and that's the mission of giving. Uh, I would also encourage you this morning, if you're one of those folks and you're saying, I can't come by, I can't do it on the phone, if you can't do it today, find some place over the course of this season to give back to your community. Uh, we know there are things going on at the United Way all the time, ways that you can give back. You could just write a check to the United Way if you wanted to. And, of course, Jancy with uh, Nutrition uh, for Seniors, they're always at a – somebody tell me, and, and you guys can both speak to this, money is important, but time is important too. If you can give your time – it's almost as valuable as giving your money. I know that's true for you, right? And is it true in the United Way's case as well? Absolutely. You know, financial contributions allow us to do the good work that we couldn't do without volunteers. So they're equally important. So, you know, I encourage people to give what you can, and that might be time and it might yeah. be money. But um, our community always rallies behind the nonprofits, and I agree. Uh, we appreciate what you're doing for us today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really kind of crazy how much, you know, when you look through the years to think that when we came on the air, we had thirty thousand dollars when yeah. we started wow. this today. Morning. Oh yeah. Wow. It's wow. incredible. And yeah. it's blowing out of the water today. Yeah, it yeah, has and been you know, good today. Nutritional services for seniors is just one of many proud United Way agencies. And when you give to the United Way, you are giving to so many organizations right here in the community. Yeah. And it's truly making our community stronger. But right. like you said, money and time are oh, equal. Yeah. We can use the money, but we can also use the volunteers. We right. need volunteers to deliver meals, and it doesn't take that long. But the funds are also very important so that we can extend that reach. Right. Yeah, I, and I think we all agree. Time is the most important currency oh, anybody gets is your time. So again. And real quick, I want to say thank you for your time. And I'm going to do this to you before we go to a break, okay? Will you turn around real quick? <laughs> this is Dan's whole family wanted to come by on his last day here on the air. The whole family. All, every single one of them. His children, all of his grandkids you see there. Also his wife, Kay. You know, he has been such a remarkable Not force. Fair. He has. He has been a champion for all of this community and made it so much stronger and we owe so much to Dan over these last 37 years because his heart is truly in everything that he does and I don't want to cry but I know look I'm trying to not look at him right now because he's getting emotional so I don't want to um, really think the, the money that we raise before coming what? on here is really a testament to Dan and Toy Feast and what he's done for community throughout the years and everyone wow. wanted that as well yeah, here, you come over here. Very unfair. <laughs> Very unfair. I don't think I need it yet, but I might. I told you when we started, I told yeah. Macy this morning, I said a meltdown is coming. Um, here it is. I just didn't know when it was going to be, and I think this might be it. Whoa. This was the one. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's not fair. That was really... I'm sorry. I tried to do it as we were kind of going into a break so you could have your moment. What an but... ambush. Uh, again, if you if it wasn't obvious, <laughs> this is my family. Uh -huh. yeah. Through the years, some of them you have seen, many of them you've never seen, uh, but... They're the reason, right, uh, for anything that you do is family. And I've always considered, really, when I think about it, this is my family, but Channel 6 was my family. And uh, a lot of people here are family members from times past and obviously new family members uh, as well. But it's been a great ride. What a great time. Um, all of them together, really good purpose. But you know what? I can also bring this back. Hi, kitty cat. I can also bring this back to the fact that... She's like, I don't know about that jacket. That this is what community is. Community is family. And uh, community is the ability to get back to people I don't even know. A gift is not a gift in my mind. And if you give it to somebody you know, a gift is when you give something and you have no idea where it's going. 
and you have no thanks coming back the other direction. That's what a gift is, you know, to give something. Uh, and you have the opportunity to do that today. My family appreciates it. My family appreciates the 37 years that you've given me here in Southeast Texas and a chance to make a living doing something I really love. And I consider it a privilege, uh, truly, to have the community trust, but also more important, the sort of support of my family. Uh, for my wife, it's been a long time of going to bed by herself at night while I got up and went to work at 2 a.m., which is crazy. Why would anybody do that? But I did for all these years, and uh, I appreciate her giving because that's what she's done. She's given her time to me. She's given a life to me, and uh, we've been very, very blessed to live here in this community, so I thank you. All right. Can now, I say real quick? I'm not I, talking to you anymore because you knew they were coming. Me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just want to say real <sighs> quick, thank you to you guys. Also, thank you to Dan, the sacrifices that you guys have made so that way he can... See, I told her, if, if you make me do it, she's going to do it. So that it. way he can get back to the yeah. community and help everyone. We well, gotta, you're sweet. I appreciate that. Break. And again, I apologize. I knew it would happen sooner or later, a meltdown. But I'll try to make that the last one of the morning. But it's all about these guys doing it to me. And uh, again, thanks. We're going to take a break. Here's what you need to do right now before you do anything else is... Pick up the phone yeah. and use it to donate to your community. Our whole theory is being give where you live. This is where you live. You should give here now. So pick up the phone, one word, Toy Feast, T-O-Y-F-E-A-S-T, -E and the number that you put on that text is 91 Nine. Now, come on by, and you can yeah. watch me, uh, I don't know, rain tears or whatever here in front of everybody. We'll but I think I'm done with it now. Okay. But you thank got it you all so out much. Yeah, I think yeah. I, I'm okay. So anyway, we'll take a break, come back with more. Who knows? Oh. Hey guys, we are right, we're inside now at the Five Point Credit Union because it has started to rain, but hey, still come out because we'll go out and get your donations. And the reason I say that is because we have had so many people drive by, the rain hasn't kept them away to get those ugly mugs. Now, each of those mugs are a $100 donation to Toy Feast, and we so appreciate it so much. And we, we, we really love our hosts here, Five Point Credit Union. They've been so hospitable, and they themselves help out the community, and they're making it easy for you. You can donate at any Five Point Credit Union in Southeast Texas, and that's it. It'll stay in your community. Or again, if you want to avoid the rain and you're at home and enjoying this broadcast, you can text Toy Feast to 91999. Now, I have so many friends here, and this is like a reunion of friends. I have Brenda here, who's from United Way, and I can't think of a better person to talk about how this benefits our area. United Way, a partner with us, but also you work with many of these agents benefiting from this. Yes, Angel. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. Um, it's been just a blessing to see the community come together for such an important cause. Um, at United Way, we help provide services for 21 local nonprofit agencies and 36 programs. So events like this are real critical. Um, and like I said, it takes a whole community to come together. And this event today, Toy Feast, is actually benefiting four of our partner agencies. So our goal is just to live united, bring everyone together through donors, sponsors, and without volunteers or the community, it wouldn't be possible. And uh, I just have to say, I'm so thankful for our sponsors and volunteers like people at Five Point who have been here since 3.30 this morning setting up and getting ready. So we're just so thankful for everyone and we just uh, hope the community knows how important this is to serve our neighbors in need. And like Angel's been saying all morning, every dollar you spend stays right here in your community. So every dollar you donate is helping uh, with the Meals on Wheels programs and the Family and Women's Shelter and the Salvation Army and the Southeast Texas Food Bank. So you're helping put clothes on people's backs feed the community, and, and just help everybody. So if you can't give, uh, reach out to these agencies and volunteer. 
um, you never know who you're blessing. Such um, a good point because volunteering yeah. is important as well. Absolutely. And you brought up such an important point of just how every dollar counts. And the neat thing about the United Way and these agencies, they are amazing at stretching out the dollar better than if we just bought the stuff ourselves because the food bank, you know, with the dollar, they can buy a lot of meals. And same thing with nutrition and services. Our elderly not only depend on it for food, but those volunteers check on their well-being. So it's just the amazing thing that by partnering together, you actually get more from the money you're donating. Yes, absolutely. And that's why we always say give where you live because this isn't going to other places, other countries. This is staying right here in your neighborhood. I mean, you're changing people's lives. So we are thankful for Southeast Texas and all of our sponsors today. We appreciate you. And Brenda, uh, one more thing is the fact that you know, being with United Way, that there is a need. I know a lot of times uh, people like to give yes. during the holidays, and that's good. But really, this this holiday season, I think more than ever, there's a lot of need out there because of stuff like inflation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, inflation right now is really high. Like Harvey mentioned earlier, it's up 30% from last year, this time of year. So um, you can go on our website and donate, and every dollar that you donate on there will go to these 21 local nonprofit agencies, um, and you're helping feed people. And, and so, yeah. Thank you so much, yes, Brenda. Absolutely. Brenda has also Thank been you. here all morning yes. with us, Thank and you. we appreciate it. Thank you for all you do. Thank and you. again, we can't say enough about Five Point Credit Union. They have been fantastic, not only taking donations here, but also uh, at each location in the area. So continue to donate. We appreciate you, and we love our Southeast Texas community. Yes. Now, we'll be back after this break. to 2023 Toy Feast this morning on The Morning Show. We're having such a good time. We're giving Dan a little break so that way he can go see his family and say hello and thank them for coming today because it is Dan's last day. So we are just so thankful for all the years that he's kind of put in and uh, taken off on Toy Feast. He started this a couple decades ago and my gosh how it has grown. <laughs> A great group of kids here this morning. This is all of the student council at Sour Lake Elementary School. And they came by and brought a bunch of toys. I'm going to talk to Keegan. Keegan is the president of student council. I mean, how cool is that? It's pretty cool. And so what did you guys do today? I mean, did you know about why you're bringing toys here? Yes. What are you guys doing this for? I feel like we're doing this for the kids who don't get toys every year at Christmas, and we're giving them the toys that they never really get. Yeah. And how special do you think that is? I mean, we get toys every year, and it's so exciting whenever you wake up Christmas morning, and now you guys are able to do that for kids. I mean, I feel like it's pretty special because I can't stop smiling. I feel so happy about it. Oh, my gosh. Well, we thank you for stopping by, and just know that a lot of kids are going to be smiling this Christmas because you guys donated toys. And you guys, I mean, how great is this? I mean... Were they just willing and ready to kind of bring the toys here? They were. They were so excited to collect toys and bring them to Toy Feast. Yeah, it's important, and that's kind of why we remind you guys, just if you can donate, we would appreciate it. Of course, you can stop by and bring toys, just like these kiddos did, but you can also text to donate. You can do it all online. Easy way to do that is text the word Toy Feast to 91999. And I want to take a look around. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you, Keegan. You did great. Keep up the good work as president of student council. But we're still here this morning. We've been out here since about 4.30, and we have made such such major moves on whenever it comes to this donation. And we are so impressed with you guys every single year, this year included, because things have been going great. We've been seeing that needle move as more donations have come in throughout the morning. You can see we've already got boxes filled up. We've seen so many people come in and just kind of fill those boxes. Of course, we are looking for those unopened brand new toys. Those are great. Always great to open that on Christmas morning. Also, non-perishable food items, if you have that too, that would be a fantastic. But we've been saying cash is king because these organizations can make money go such a long way. We're talking about the Women and Children Shelter. We're talking about nutrition and services for senior citizens, the Salvation Army, the Southeast Texas Food Bank, and they all fall under the United Way. 
and so that's we're just hoping to kind of help them not just this holiday season because it continues throughout the entire year and that's kind of the important thing about it we all get excited and want to do a gift but there are people who struggle back when it comes to July and they still need that meal maybe they need help paying one of those bills maybe a woman and her kids have to flee an abusive relationship and don't have anything with them that they need to uh, so they need some help Dan's sneaking in now. Are you coming no, to join I'm, us? I'm blocking. Thank you. He's blocking the wind for me. This is, I, I greatly appreciate that, the help there. But, Sorry I abandoned you. No, it's... Hey, I, thought, I, was, I was giving you the break because... Yeah, I was huh. trying to catch up with all my yeah. peeps. Yeah, you got a lot of them. <laughs> People are like, of that's your family? I, yeah. Not all, all of them. them. There are two more yeah. that were missing, but... Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, see, so when you talk about your family, and then you did mention, too... KFTM family, right? Oh, KFTM gosh, yeah. Fox Four family yeah. that has gone years. 37 years. It's a lot of people. That's a lot of folks. You know, I when mean, you think about all the years that uh, people came through and all the shows. Because, yeah. yeah, the morning show, but we also did the evening show. We did the, I did the noon show for 12 yeah. years. Jeez. 12 years. Wow. So, and that's almost like a footnote now. It's like, yeah. oh, 12 years. You know, when you compare like, oh, it to 37. Yeah. Um, I don't know where we are in time here. We got a little bit, huh? Yeah, yeah, we're going. But I, I, here's the thing. I need to accommodate some of these folks over here. So, yeah. Stephen, can we, or do we need to take a break? Or are we okay? Uh, I think we're okay right now. Okay. You go do it. Yeah, I, you I, just do I it. say that because I'm coming over here because this is the alumni area of us from the morning show and from Channel 6. Uh, there are some that are here. There are some that need to be over here that are also, uh, and these people, Jill needs to be over here. These are all people that uh, we worked together, worked with, called friends, called family. About a lot of things. This guy, I called him more than family several times, but I apologized <laughs> later. And then he did the same. This guy, Kenny the Dude, was there from almost the beginning, 20 how many years? I think it was tw a day short of 23 or 24, I think. Yeah, I, it felt like we were together forever. Yeah. Couldn't believe he left, but I'm happy for him. Uh, but, yeah, he is one of those cogs because nothing happens without a lot of people in television. Sometimes it's, the mistake is made because it's just the person that you see. Jackie knows this. You know, that people will come out and go, oh, thank you. And I'm like, uh, well... I was just there because all these other people were there. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Mitchell was a director uh, for years on the morning show. Wasn't easy, but when you're his age, getting up at 2 a.m. ain't easy, but he did it. Jackie, of course. That's true. She was the original. Yeah, yeah. And of course, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to start talking about people, and then I'm going to start losing it again. So I'm not sure of how far I want to go. Uh, but again, uh, James, little Jimmy Ware. Uh, it's, I, I hope he, you know, all these years I've called him that, and I hope that it's never been an insult to you. But it's never offends me. I mean, uh, I got a friend uh, named Kenny here. Yeah. Much worse insult than that. That's no, true. I, I'll always be little Jimmy. Okay. I, you know, again. I, I, I know. started that, and people still, to this day, yeah, that's yeah, all they, they refer to me. It's not a bad thing. It's no. a good thing. I'm getting a rap. Kenny, I look, do it one more time. Kenny has done it so long, it's innate. I still do it at home. Camille I Briggs, I have to mention Camille, part of our newsroom, part of my life. Appreciate you, all of you. Again, nothing is a uh, solo effort in life. It always takes people. These are my people. <laughs> so... That being said, Macy, I'm not going there again. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll I just, just had to clear my throat by. real quick when I said these are my people because they are. And these guys back here, oh, thank you, man. <laughs> Troy Boy. <laughs> Troy uh, lugged a camera and then decided he couldn't take it anymore. But he's still hanging around every morning. Appreciate it. Uh, all the people you'll never see, thank you. You know who you are, right? Thank you. Thanks. And we'll take a break. We'll come back. All this is all about, uh, again, giving back to our community. It's a toy feast. It's what we started 30 years ago, continues today. And it's all about the community that we live in, whether you're here now or you're retired, uh, which is where I hope to be soon. Uh, you can give this morning. It'll stay active right here in the community. Again, 
easiest way, obviously, is online, and that's fine. Toy Feast, T O Y F E A S T 91999. Just text it and tell us how much you'd like to donate or come by. We're here at Dog at Toyota. We'd love to see you. Also, Angel San Juan down in Mid County. Oh, and I need to mention this one more time, and you guys are all invited. We're going to do a rat party, Rayo's Bakery is uh, doing a wrap party at Dowlin Road this morning, 10 o'clock. Public's invited. Coffee is free. Come by and visit for a few minutes if you can. 10 to noon. We'd love to see you. All right, take a break. We'll come back with more. It's Toy Feast on the morning show here on Fox 4. Welcome back to live coverage of the KFTM Fox 4 Toy Feast, benefiting these agencies of the United Way. Hi, everyone. We are here at Five Point Credit Union, one of our many distribution sites. And check this out, what we're doing right now. More toys coming in. These are toys from the employees of Five Point Credit Union. We're filling off these boxes. And that just shows you the commitment that Five Point has had for 17 years. It started with uh, one of their employees who's now a vice president. He was celebrating his birthday and he saw Dan talking about Toy Feast and he told his staff, hey, you know what, why don't you, we donate to Toy Feast instead of giving me a gift? That was 17 years ago and look at it now. It is amazing what's going on here. These are staff members from Five Point. We've gotten very close that we've been with them since 3.30 this morning. They've been a lot of fun, but we really wanna thank Southeast Texans all these locations, all Five Point Credit Union locations, people could drop off non-perishable food items, toys like we're seeing here, or they could buy ugly mugs. And they have bought a lot of ugly mugs. We just recently had to take out, these boxes were just taken out, you know, just a few minutes ago. And look, they're almost empty a lot. We have a car right there. They are, they just basically bought a, let me see if we could catch up with them, Jesus. Let me see, let's see. Hey guys, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Oh, we appreciate you and you can do it and you're, we're looking forward to you. Thank you so we'll much. We'll stick with you like we did with Dan. We appreciate it. Well, Dan's been great and I know we're running out of time, so I don't know if we'll come back here one more time before the show ends. I just want to say all those guys with Dan, their family, love them and they're all here for you, Dan. You've been a mentor and a great friend. We're going to miss you, but we're going to still do lots of lunches together. Love you, Dan. Back, to, we're taking a break. So it all comes down to this. Sure does. What an incredible day. Um, 37 years, all I can say again, thank you because without viewers, none of this happens. Yeah. It's been a terrific ride, truly an honor, a privilege. Uh, watch this young woman, uh, and of course, Angel, they'll be back on Monday. I'm sleeping in. You're sleeping in? I'm sleeping in. I will be jealous of you, and so congratulations. Well, thank it's you. It's been such a pleasure. It has. I will miss our conversations and getting to spend our mornings together. And Well, I will miss you too. You know yeah. that. Uh, I will miss all these people in the background, but more than all of that, I will miss you, the viewers, who again have made it what it's been for the last uh, 37 years. Come on in. This is all my family. Yeah. All of them are my family. Uh, you're my family. You've been my family. Um, again, I don't know what else to say. I've kind of run out of things to say. Hard to imagine, I know. But it has that happened after 37 years. Um, I couldn't have asked for anything else. I couldn't have imagined any more than what I've been blessed with. So. Again, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. And thanks for helping us today with Toy yeah. Feast and kind of get close and send Dan out with a bang. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, and don't forget, it's not too late. No. Nope. Text right now, Toy Feast, T-O-Y-F-E-A-S-T, 91999. Thank you.